Well, once again, folks, we're happy to have you here. We're, this is J. Dan Gill, and we are here with our friend Bob Schutz. And uh, Bob, I've, I've enjoyed immensely talking with you and your faith history. And uh, I, I see indeed a man of good faith and good heart and good will and determination in service to God. I love that. We're trying. We, we try. That's right. Well, the, uh, well that's great. Well, uh, I know uh, you're never one to be still too long, but uh, so since you've come to this understanding, I know you've begun a couple of online works that people would be interested in. The first one uh, was Theological All-Stars. Am I getting that right? Theology All-Stars. Theology All-Stars. I love it. And tell us a little bit about that. Well, when, when I began to understand this message and, and lost all of my faith in the so-called church fathers mm -hmm. and their efforts and their violence and their destruction. I just, I thought, you know, we have to be able to talk about these things, but it's so hard to create a conversation with people with the right tone. Because mm -hmm. they don't want to be lectured, they don't want to be preached at, sure. and they don't want you to come across as some kind of heavy expert and all that. Right. So one day it just dawned on me, and I'd been trying for about a year to come up with a way, you know, to begin, you know, opening this up mm, yes. and it dawned on me one day and I think it must have been from the Lord that what we needed to do was have a reunion and have a, a reunion of all those old you know, theologians <laughs> who had created this whole mess that we've inherited <laughs> yes. and get them all together in one place <laughs> and make them explain themselves <laughs> and we decided that since theologians love, since they love to talk that we wouldn't have any trouble so <laughs> we got we, God gave them permission to come back from the dead. Okay. And we decided that instead of having the, like the Nicene Council mm -hmm. in Nicaea at Caesar's Palace, because that was underwater and in ruins, <laughs> that we hunted around until we found that Caesar had a new palace in Las Vegas. <laughs> okay. And so we decided to host a theater. You're just having fun with the whole thing, aren't I you? Just have, it was too much fun. And uh, so we decided to have a theology all-stars reunion in Las Vegas. Okay. And we invited Constantine and Athanasius and Tertullian and, and Origen and all of them. And they all showed up and uh, everybody had a chance to speak. We wanted them to talk in plain language and it became a hoot. Uh, we even had a golf outing. Oh, where, right. where Constantine the Emperor explained the principles of Trinitarian golf scoring. Because <laughs> he always claimed to be shooting par threes, and we said, no, 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 you got a nine. He said, no, 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 no. One stroke in essence is not the same as one stroke in scoring. <laughs> so you have one stroke in, in, in scoring is three strokes in essence or back and forth. And yeah. so we just played with that idea. <laughs> And uh, and had a lot, of, but it illustrated the illogic, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it gave us a chance to laugh at the people who deserved to be laughed at. To be laughed at, they uh, did. I agree. Right. They uh, take themselves seriously, yeah. and they and we shouldn't. No, I so. I agree completely. So uh, theology all stars, a uh, a hypothetical, if you will, a uh, convention involving all those guys in the, what, 2nd, 3rd, 4th centuries, yes. whatever, yep. and uh, bringing them together and letting them talk with one another, and uh, I, I, I love the parody. It was, uh, it was a, that's excellent. I enjoyed a, looking at that. It was a delight to do so. You can get to it just at theologyallstars.com, right. and that'll take you there. Theologyallstars.com. Yep. Okay, well, now, and uh, everybody should take a look at that. It's fun. They better. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but now you are launching, uh, uh, just uh, recently launching, a new, perhaps more Sorry. serious work uh, yes. involving your understanding about the one God and Jesus. And uh, tell us more about that. Well, we knew as, as the All-Stars reunion went on that it had a limited horizon. Yeah. And there was only so much we could do with that. And, and yet this message of God and Christ needed to be dealt with in a sober way uh, without being you know, heavy or unnecessarily you know, uh, didactic. We just wanted to get it across. And so we've launched another site that's a companion to the reunion and they're linked. 
Ah. And this new one is called Wonderful Theology. Wonderful Theology, okay. And it addresses this wonderful understanding, but in everyday language. Ah, I and, like that. And so it is not, it's not a uh, type of thing that's probably going to make our academics and scholars terrifically happy, but it'll make most people happy. <laughs> okay. Because it just brings out these truths that we care about in everyday language. And, Excellent. Uh, so we've just launched that. That's only been up for... I don't know, maybe four or five months. Okay, that, so just kind of getting off the ground there with yes. uh, with that effort. Well, I think uh, that's wonderful. So you're going to have uh, written articles, pieces there, yes. uh, dealing with issues yep. for the for the ordinary man or woman to make God easier, truth easier for those right. people to understand. Right. I love that. We need that, and uh, that's tremendous. So you'll have also. Uh, then some video and audio things. I think you're working on that. So. We're just we, we uh, we've got one video piece that is a a uh, a, a collection of, of most of the names and titles of God. Ah, okay. With a musical background and a visual background of a slowly turning precious stone. Ah, how beautiful! And it is very lovely. It's an inspirational yeah. devotional. Right. And uh, but we're also going to create, and we just started. And that, thank you for your help with that. Oh, indeed. We're just going to start uh, some YouTube segments. Excellent. That will be. They'll be short. They'll be five, ten minutes, mm -hmm. uh, but addressing one specific little focused area. Right. And we'll just put that out, mm -hmm. and and uh, then we'll run for right. cover things that have been helpful to you, you're yes. going to pass along to others and yes. with the hope that it will be helpful to them as well. Yep. Understanding who God really is mm -hmm. and understanding who Jesus really is, it's worth everything, isn't it? It is, and, we, and, you know, and what I want is to have something that is so accessible that people can use it to send their friends there. Ah, yeah. And say, because a lot of people are just, they have a difficult time communicating what it is that they believe. And sure. And say, listen, sure. why don't you just send your friend a, a few of these things and, and uh, and hopefully it'll be interesting enough that it will keep their attention long enough for them to to get it. Excellent, I love it. Well, the uh, and again, the uh, the address to that site is what again? Well, we've got wonderfultheology.com okay. and theologyallstars.com oh. are the two sites. Right. I don't have an address for the YouTube channel yet, yeah. but that will be. It will also be. It'll it, be associated then. With it'll the, be linked those. to the Excellent. websites. I like that. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm enjoying this so much, and wonderful to see your work and to see that taking off. And uh, I'm sure we're going to have a, a lot of our viewers will be interested in what you're doing, and they'll they'll want to go and check this out and and see. And uh, maybe some will pat you on the back, and others will have questions. And there may be somebody out there who wants to fuss at you, but you can handle it all. With <laughs> that's you know, okay. It, the website is a lot like this beautiful T-shirt that I saw in the service this morning. The gal who was wearing a, a T-shirt that said "Shema, y'all." <laughs> and uh, let's get this down to where yeah, people can get it. Yeah, huh? and I'm thinking, okay, you know, here's some truth, y'all. <laughs> and, uh, and and I'm from up north, but I just like the tone yeah, like of that. that. The, the Shema, uh, Deuteronomy six and four, and yeah. and the, then Jesus in Mark twelve twenty nine yes. thirty, and now that. Lovely stuff. It is beautiful stuff. Well, Brother Bob, what a pleasure. I'm so glad you stopped uh, and and spent a little time with us on your way through Nashville. And uh, it's just been a joy uh, getting to know you better. We had met before, yeah. but and uh, having an opportunity to talk to, with you. And uh, this is great. We'll give our viewers a chance to get to know you and uh, to follow the things that you're working on. We, we're excited about it. Brother Dan, you have no idea. I mean... What a blessing it is to me to have discovered you oh. and and a few others, but but your work is just a gift to mm -hmm. us because we are up north and uh, we're kind of isolated. There's there's no church really within 150 miles. Oh my of me. goodness! Yeah. So we don't have anything close by, and uh, to even though I only stop in once a year <laughs> and spend a couple of days, yeah. this refreshes me. Oh well, that's great. You know, to be with you. Well, you're a refreshment to us. We uh, we well, enjoy. You. It's an encouragement to us to see you uh, grasping and understanding these things so well, and then passing it along to others. I think that's great. What else could we do? What can we say? What else could we do? Thank you, brother Bob. Thank you. Brother a blessing Dan. indeed. Bless you. A treasure.